In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to a Nucleus Medical Media animation all about PCOS. Now, I want you all to keep in mind that PCOS is a complex disease and affects everyone differently. It's not something that one size fits all. Let's watch the video together and learn all about PCOS. Polycystic ovary syndrome, also called PCOS, is an imbalance of the female sex hormones. The ovaries are part of the female reproductive system, along with the fallopian tubes, uterus, and vagina. Your ovaries contain your lifetime supply of eggs. These eggs are immature and are stored in tiny, fluid-filled structures called follicles. Your pituitary gland, located at the base of the brain, produces hormones that direct the function of your ovaries. Each month, the pituitary gland secretes follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, and luteinizing hormone, or LH, into the bloodstream. I love already that this is demonstrating what PCOS actually is, and I always like to emphasize this. PCOS is a syndrome. Whenever we talk about syndromes, that's gonna to refer to something that affects multiple organ systems in the body. Yes, it's called polycystic ovarian syndrome, but it's not just about the ovaries. As you can see, it also affects the pituitary that's located in the brain. After these hormones reach the ovaries, several hundred immature eggs start to mature, expanding the size of the follicles. As the eggs mature, the follicles secrete estrogen, the main female sex hormone. Once the amount of estrogen in the blood reaches a certain level, the pituitary sends a surge of luteinizing hormone to the ovaries, causing the most mature follicle to open and release its egg in a process called ovulation. The free egg travels through the fallopian tube where it awaits fertilization. Eventually, the remaining immature follicles and eggs dissolve. I love that it gave a very brief overview of the menstrual cycle, all the different hormones that are in play, hormones made in the ovary like estrogen, and also hormones made in the brain like FSH and LH. Now I think they're probably going to jump into PCOS and what goes differently during PCOS. If the egg is not fertilized, the egg and the lining of the uterus are My shed now they're during the next the period, menstrual period. But I think period. it's coming next. If you have polycystic ovary syndrome, your pituitary gland may release abnormally high amounts of luteinizing hormone into your bloodstream, disrupting your normal menstrual cycle. As a result, your follicles do not mature and ovulation does not occur, which can lead to infertility. Some of the immature follicles do not dissolve and remain as fluid-filled sacs or cysts. So this is one of the reasons why it's called polycystic ovarian syndrome. Those little immature follicles, they stay inside of the egg and then when we do an ultrasound, it's like we see tiny little follicles all around the outside of the ovary, but they're immature. None of them are maturing or ovulating. The immature follicles do not dissolve and remain as fluid-filled sacs or cysts. In addition, your doctor may find your blood has high levels of insulin, a hormone produced by the pancreas. Too much insulin, combined with high levels of luteinizing hormone, can lead to excess production of a male hormone called testosterone in your ovaries. Abnormally high levels of testosterone prevent ovulation, which can lead to infertility. So I like that they're involving the high levels of insulin that's seen with PCOS. This is why people that have PCOS are at an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. High levels of testosterone also cause many of the physical features associated with polycystic ovary syndrome, 
such as acne and abnormal hair growth. Having polycystic ovary syndrome raises your risk for type 2 diabetes because of excess insulin and insulin resistance, heart disease, high blood pressure, cholesterol abnormalities in the blood, and endometrial cancer. Remember how I said this is a syndrome that can affect different organ systems? This is what I'm talking about. Since there is no cure for polycystic ovary syndrome, your doctor may recommend one or more medications to treat your symptoms, such as hormonal birth control, which, while preventing pregnancy, also regulates your menstrual cycle and reduces testosterone production in your ovaries. Anti-androgen By reducing that testosterone in your ovaries, you're also going to see improvement of acne and facial hair growth, stuff like that. Medications which reduce abnormal hair growth and acne. Diabetes medications, such as metformin, which lowers your insulin levels and regulates your menstrual cycle. And fertility medications, which can stimulate ovulation so you can become pregnant. If you want to become pregnant... Does this mean that every single person that has PCOS has to undergo fertility medication or fertility treatments? No, not necessarily. Make sure you're talking to your doctor about you specifically. If you want to become pregnant and fertility medications have not succeeded in restoring ovulation, your doctor may recommend laparoscopic ovarian drilling. During the procedure, your surgeon will insert a small needle into the ovary and use an electric current to destroy small areas of ovarian tissue where testosterone is produced. Over time, testosterone production diminishes and ovulation may occur. I will never get over how amazing these animations are. Truly, Nucleus Medical Media it's amazing. Now I know they talked about a lot of different medications and treatment options and even that ovarian drilling, but if you have PCOS, like I said in the beginning, this is not a disease that one size fits all. So you may not be a candidate for the drilling or maybe you're not a candidate for some other medication. So always make sure that you're talking to your doctor about what works best for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love making these reaction videos because the animation is truly fascinating. They're shorter videos, they're easy to understand. I'm a visual learner, so I love it. I wanna give a special thanks to Nucleus Medical Media for their amazing 3D animations. If you wanna see more scientifically accurate information on anatomy, physiology, diseases, and different conditions, make sure to check out their YouTube channel. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. If you haven't already, check out my other video where I react to a Nucleus Medical Media animation all about ovulation. I loved that video. I hope you have an amazing day. Always remember to be kind and show love to everyone around you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.